Hey peeps, it's Saturday. What's going on? What are you up to? I am just out driving with my brother. He's just uh, at his friend's place picking up some stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going for a drive, so I thought I would just pick up the camera, film a little bit. Also, I want to finally show you uh, some of my favorite toppings for oatmeal. I'll get back to you later. crazy it was a huge storm here i didn't really film it i think i have something on my phone but that was an experience a lot of roofs flew off buildings a lot of tree kind of snapped in half and the entire house was shaking. It was in one way very exciting and cozy, but obviously as long as no one got hurt. I, I finished, ooh, fuck. I finished this book this morning. I read half of it last night and a few pages this morning. Really recommend it. It is about wintering, how it's important to follow the rhythms of nature nature is very efficient and that includes taking time off taking time to gather up your strength refuel hibernate there are of course the seasons actual winter and there are winter internal winters and also external winters in terms of you're going through like a rough something difficult in your life and for this world it's been one year winter right now in terms of uh, the pandemic and stuff and i think we all have kind of realized the importance of taking a step back for our mental health for our relationships for just some to get clarity for the sake of the nature and i bet you've heard people say this a billion times i've also said it several times during this pandemic that um it's just so important to go within and to reflect and yeah so i really recommend the book it's such a cozy read my friend gina recommended it to me so i think i'm just gonna do some stretching i saw that justin bieber came out with a new album so maybe listen to that while i stretch and then i want to show you my favorite oatmeal toppings it sounds like a boring subject but oatmeal has been the one thing that I've eaten for breakfast for years now and it just really works with my body, my energy levels, it just works well with me but do not make it boring and stale and unexciting and not tasteful I have over the years found a lot of ways to spice it up and I really wanted to kind of buy all of the ingredients and make tons of different ones but I feel like it's just such a waste and also I could kind of make a different one every morning and film this over a period of several weeks but 
it just seems like a lot of work to be honest uh, so we're gonna try to figure out a way to do it but let's stretch first resonates with you, inspires you, something that you want to remember because it's easy to say like I'll remember or I'll read it again another time but what was the point in reading it the first time if you didn't get anything from it in that moment. So she writes this right after explaining that we often sacrifice our happiness to reach our potential. Happiness is our potential, the product of a mind that's allowed to think as it needs to that has enough of what it requires, that is free of the terrible weight of bullying and humiliation. And then she goes on, this is really interesting, I never thought about this before. As children, we tolerate working conditions that we find intolerable as adults. The constant interrogation over attainment to a hostile audience, the motivation by threat instead of encouragement, uh, and big threats too. If you don't do this, then you'll ruin your entire future and so on. The social world in which you're mocked and teased, your most embarrassing desires exposed, your new formed body held up for the kind of scrutiny that would destroy an adult. Imagine how this would feel to you now. And the reason that it's important to think about that is because as children we go through so much and we're just taught to just suck it up and don't really think about it, don't reflect on it, just keep on moving forward. And it's only when we're adults and these things have accumulated that we're just kind of burst out and realize, ooh, we should have from the very beginning be been taught that when you go through something difficult, it's okay to feel it and respect all of your emotions, the being sad, angry, frustrated, so that you learn to cope with it, learn to work through it and learn to take time for yourself and just honoring your emotions and what you need to be happy instead of just constantly shoving all of those emotions down and letting your happiness come second after moving forward and achieving things and reaching your potential. But as she says, your happiness is your greatest potential learning to be happy in every moment, even though that sometimes mean feeling sad and feeling angry and feeling these emotions. I'm beginning to think that unhappiness is one of the simple things in life, a pure basic emotion to be respected if not savored. I would never dream of suggesting that we should wallow in misery or shrink from doing anything we can do to alleviate it, but I do think it's instructive. After all, unhappiness has a function. It tells us that something is going wrong. If we don't allow ourselves the fundamental honesty of our own sadness, then we miss an important cue to adapt. I often wonder if these are just normal feelings that became monstrous as they are denied. So true. A great deal of life will always suck. There will be moments when we're riding high and moments when we can't bear to get out of bed. Both are normal. Both, in fact, require a literal perspective. Those were two paragraphs that I photographed and there's many, many, many more of uh, the good stuff in this one. Okay, here we go. Oatmeal tips with Cornelia. We should definitely make this a recurrent segment on my channel, by the way. Okay, as you can see right here, I'm making my go-to oatmeal at the moment. It has been my go-to for a few months now. And the trick is to always add something crunchy creamy, sweet, sour, and salty. Preferably all of them, 
but of course you can skip one or two depending on what you like. Also one requirement for me is to pack it with as much nutrients as possible, but the options are still pretty much limitless. So on this one I got raisins, cinnamon, chia seeds, peanut butter, almonds and apple. Here are some photos of some other oatmeals that I've made in the past. I also made a little chart for you. <laughs> I'm realizing right now how nerdy this is and why I'm doing this. I'm not quite sure because you have probably all heard of oatmeal, apple, cinnamon, peanut butter. It's not really science, but I am passionate about it. So just roll with it. The fun part about oatmeal is that you can make it your own. And now this sounds like a sponsorship. I should be sponsored by oatmeal. I promise you that you can make it taste good without adding a bunch of refined sugar and shit like that. And if you still don't like oatmeal, then just don't eat it. So yeah, that was my little segment. Hope you like it. Um, let's go for a hike, why don't we? Be my truth or do I feel to how I feel? I wonder, wouldn't it be nice to live inside a world that isn't black and white? I wonder what it's like to be my friends. Hope that they don't think I forget about them. I wonder, I wonder. Right before I close my eyes The only thing that's on my mind Been dreaming that you feel it too I wonder what it's like to be loved by you Yeah I wonder what it's like I wonder what it's like to be loved by you why I'm so afraid of saying something wrong I never said I was a saint I wonder When I cry into my hands I'm conditioned to feel like it makes me less of a man And I wonder if someday you'll be by my side Tell me that the world will end up alright I wonder I wonder Right before I close my eyes The only thing that's on my mind Been dreaming that you feel it too I wonder what it's like to be loved by 